right guys, how's it going? We are in Utah. We've got the Provo River behind us. Kip in the back here. He's our guide today. He's taking us along. He's uh, He lives up here, so he's showing us the ropes. Thanks, Kip. Behind us here, you can see there's some rapids and this bridge. This is an area where a lot of people, as they're tubing or kayaking or paddle boarding, they, they've fallen out. So we're gonna drop in here and see if there's anything we can find. So we'll take you along on the venture with us. the fish dude oh <laughs> what? Just, just what? Buy it. <laughs> oh no good blaster Tyson. Found you a lure, Tyson. Here, I'll get over there to you.
There she is, keys, two phones. Kip! Woo! Two phones! All right, Steve just gave this cute little family the extra paddle he just found. I think we might be wrapping it up. Kip's gonna get it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Holy bring it. snap! <laughs> bring it over here. <laughs> there we go. Now you got the. Why does that like freak me out? Right, that was a fun dive. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't pull out the fins. It was just too strong of a current, so I was just kind of walking through it. But it's really cool back in through here, just in, underneath this railroad track. So check out some of these cool things I found. Um, I did find some railroad um, spikes, some ties that we're doing there. It's kind of cool. I found someone's prescription glasses. So if you were tubing. We're kayaking, paddleboarding down the Provo River and lost your prescription glasses. Let us know. Um, say Zenni, Z E N N I is the brand. If you want to get those back? Um, I did find these old sunglasses. They've been down there for a little while. It's kind of cool. Um, I found these ties, these tie downs. Check this out. Some saw blades. <laughs> Someone's working on the railroad. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then check this out. Oh, well, first of all, I did find a little ring. It's a CTR ring. It's a CTR on it. It's kind of cool. And then check this out. The find of the day, I found two phones, a Samsung and an iPhone. Very awesome. There was also a key in there with the pouch as well. So stay tuned to the end and see if we can find the owners. So all in all, great dive. Kip. Thanks for bringing us out here. Kip's got shout some, out. Uh, Woo. All right, so we've been doing some detective work on these phones. One of the phones is a Samsung and it does have an SD card in it. So we've been going through all the pictures in this SD card looking for a name for this person or anybody, just a first and last name. So we were going through all of these pictures and videos and the last picture we found has his driver's license. So we were able to message him. We found him on Facebook and Instagram, messaged him, said, hey, give us a call. We have your phone. And within minutes, he was able to call Steve's phone. So Steve's in there talking to him. We're going to see where he's from. Hopefully he's from Utah and we can get these phones back to them before we have to go back home to Arizona. I, my, me and my wife had went before and we were with a, a couple other couples and, you know, they were like, hey, like, let's do it. Like, I think we can do it, you know, and me just kind of being a pushover sometimes. <laughs> I was like, you know what, whatever, like, what's the worst that can happen? You know? Right. <laughs> so we go under that first bridge and, and we're starting to take that an angle and it's kind of like being placed with seven doors in front of you. You know, you got to choose the right one. That's kind of how it is, you know? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and so we were caught between the right door and the wrong door. Oh, and man. And ended up choosing no door and basically <laughs> wrapped our tube around that, that middle beam. My wife flew off. I flew off. Oh. She had, her, she had that lanyard around her uh, her wrist, actually. Oh, gotcha. And she hit, a, she hit a rock, and I picked her up out of the water as we were floating away. And um, so that's kind of how, how everything went down. So oh, her, she was really upset about it. So this is a really a, a miracle phone call we really appreciate you guys reaching out to us so thank, thank you so much Steve. I'll, I'll make some plans and call some people and we'll figure awesome. it out all right cool perfect all right i'll be looking forward to your call hey thanks steve you take it easy all right we'll see you yeah bye bye, bye. Cool was that? That was instant, right? I mean, I send him a message on Instagram, boom, instant. calls me up. Yeah, that so was cool. instant. He's friend. actually not in Utah right now, so we're, we're trying to figure out. Um, he said he has some friends here that we might get a, drop it off to before we leave. If not, we'll ship it up to him. So, 
Such a cool experience. Love those. Woo! All right. That was fun. Hi, everyone. My name's Tiara. This is my husband, Salem. Um, we just wanted to share an experience that we had with Trip and Dive. We were river rafting in the Provo River, and we tipped over in our tube of six people and lost our, like, bag, water bag with our phone, both of our phones and our keys, our car keys in it, and we looked for hours, did not think we'd ever get it back, so we gave up. Super dangerous to even look, so we kind of gave up on it. A week later, Steve from Trip and Dive reached out to us that he had found our bag with both, both the phones in it, no water in the bag, completely good, and he reached out to us and gave them back to us and was really nice and offered to pay to ship them to us and meet up with us, and we're so grateful that we got him back and thankful for him, and we just wanted to give him a shout out, so thank you. Yeah, thank you guys, appreciate it. If you like this type of video, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and share it with your friends. We'll catch you next time.